You have a question? Oh yes, I have an answer. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video, and this is another episode of Ask James. Let's get into our email. About two years ago, I asked a good friend for a loan. We had known each other for a very long time, and I will admit, I didn't really hang out with her much. We kept in contact via text message, but that's about it. We live total different lives. She's single, travels, and dates. I'm a single mother of two. Needless to say, I text her one day to ask to borrow $2,500. I told her it was for rent, but I really needed the money for something else. She texted me back and um, that she would think about it. And the next morning she texted me back, the answer is no, I'm sorry. To say I was mad was an understatement. I went on social media and wrote some subliminal messages about her. She's seen them and I haven't heard from her since. She has blocked me from all social media and any other communication. I don't know how to reach out to her to apologize. Any suggestions, good or bad, would be appreciated. Thanks in advance. Okay, so well, I'm gonna start off by saying, baby, you was out of order from from beginning to end. You were out of order, but I think you know that. So I don't need to sit here and beat you up about it or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it was problematic from the, the, the beginning of you even asking for the money was problematic because y'all wasn't friends like that. But like I said, I'm not going to beat you up about it. But the thing is, at this point, I think that all you can really do at this point, I think that because if you're blocked on all the social media and the phones and all of that stuff, that means she's really done with it. She's pretty much done with you and, and that's it. Um, and that's understandable. But I'm going to say, how about trying to go the route of like, if you all have a mutual friend, if you have some type of a mutual friend, or if you have some type of contact with a parent or a sibling, if you could send the message that you apologize about what happened through them, I think would be a good thing. Like if you could send a message, just like you sent those other messages, try to send it through a mutual friend or a family member, just somebody that could actually get it to her. Now I'm going to say this, this is one of those times when I say yes, apologizing and everything is going to be more for you than for her. Cause you know, you're, you're, it's really big of you to actually admit you're wrong and try to correct it, but I don't know that she's actually open to it. And then you can't, don't get mad at her if she doesn't accept the apology, but learn from this. And I, I think you actually have, you know, for you to become forth and trying to apologize. But that, that would be my advice. Try to send the message of, um, your apology through a mutual friend or a family member, just somebody that, you know, so that she gets it, but don't expect a whole lot from it. But again, I, I hope it'll clear your conscience, you know, for what it was that went on and that kind of thing. So that's, that's my advice. I hope this helps. Um, and again, I'm not going to sit here and beat you up. I, you got the lesson out of it. You already got it. You got the lesson out of it. So good for you you know and it's it is what it is we all make mistakes we all make mistakes all right thank you so much for writing in and i'll see you soon 
you have something you need to get off your chest or something you need some help with, I'll give it my best shot. Send me an email to spillitboy at gmail.com and in the title line, you want to put Hey James to make sure that I actually see it. If you don't put Hey James in the subject line, I'm not going to see it. It's going to continue to be an issue. So send me an email and we'll talk about it later.